use of API. So if you're watching this video and you don't know uh, how you uh, how API can be useful to you, your yeah, API is used. Maybe if you have an online store, you go collecting donations. You have a website selling something online. Yeah, you can easily uh, get the payments from customers using API. Yeah, let's say you can give an example of Jumia. You go order something. They take you to a checkout page. They give you the payment methods. Let's say you select mobile money. Uh, you send a prompt to your phone. It comes. Then you enter the PIN and the money is transferred to the other party. So now, that's how that is by the help of API. Yes, it can be used both offline and online. Yeah, but it makes the payment of goods and services most times uh, uh, easily or possible, convenient. Yeah, but uh, it's mostly used uh, online to capture customers' payments. Yeah, so uh, if you want to come up with the Airtel API, you have to visit this website. As you can see it here, developers yeah, dot, uh, Africa dot, developers dot Airtel dot Africa. It will uh, take you to this page as you are seeing it here with a uh, home page, products, developer, and support. Yeah, so if you are new, you uh, you sign up. But if you already have an account, you just sign in. Yeah, so you can see the products. I check in the products and see what Airtel has for you. Airtel Mobile Money Remittance, Goods and Services, uh, Developers, you find documentation, for that support, you can contact uh, Airtel through this. So if you are new, you just come here and sign up. As you can see, sign up page. Just sign up, name, last name. Yeah. So they will send you an OTP. You just enter it. So, but if you have, if you have uh, a written account, you just sign in. You just sign in. You will send you an OTP in the email that you used while creating the account. So, you just put it there. Just add it there. Then you log in. So once you log in, it brings you to this page. So once you are here, you just come here and register an application. An application where you are going to use uh, this API that will use this API. You just click on register application. As you can see, you enter application name and you describe it and click on submit. Once you click on submit, once you click on submit, application will be submitted but it will remain to remain on pending until uh, you submit all the required documentation so once all the documentation uh, have been submitted and approved this status here will change from pending to approved then from there you can go to live but you can't go to live when this status is still showing pending get yeah, maybe what I'd forgotten to tell you after creating, after creating that, uh, after creating your application, you add the products that you need that you are seeing them here. Add the product, you click on add, 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 add. So that does uh, specifically you specify the products that you want. You can't, you don't add everything. 
yes you specify what you want you specify what you want Connection disbursement limited yeah then you wait for this once it is approved you go on then you go live yeah once you go live uh your pi will be you will get your uh your keys that will enable that you integrate in your website to enable that payment yeah so basically that's the that's the simple introduction at the api yeah so in case you you need more inquiry about this i will find my whatsapp number in uh, this video description please don't hesitate to contact me and uh, maybe if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like it make sure you like it yeah and subscribe let's meet in another video